Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support the channel. First article of interest for today, the 2020 budget ranges between 90 to 100 trillion dinars and reaches parliament within two weeks. Governmental authorities expected that the Council of Ministers send the federal budget for 2020 to the House of Representatives during the next two weeks, and estimated that the size of the general budget in light of the conditions of the corona epidemic and the economic crisis will be between 90 to 100 trillion dinars. Maza R. Mohamed Sali, the financial advisor to the Prime Minister, said in a statement to Al Mata, it is possible to prepare a federal budget bill for 2020 by the government that includes actual expenditures, previously achieved and dispersed, from the beginning of the fiscal year to the current month of June, and the sources of their financing. It also includes the expenses for the next six months that will be built according to the principle of estimates of the price of crude oil in world markets and non-oil revenues. The House of Representatives voted in its session held last Wednesday on the form of a decision obligating the government to submit the federal budget for 2020 at the end of this month. The previous Adel Abdul Mahdi government did not pass the federal budget law for the current year as a result of the crisis of protests that have swept the country since last October and which forced him to submit his resignation to Parliament in December. Saleh asserts that, the government started preparing the federal budget law for 2020 according to the current data and circumstances and took into consideration the deteriorating oil prices and the economic crisis, stressing that, the budget law has three quarters of it fixed material, and therefore it is possible to prepare the budget law within half an hour. He notes that, after the budget law is finalized, the total deficit size will become clear, expecting that, the budget bill will be presented for approval within the cabinet within the next two weeks to send it to the parliament for study and legislation. And at the end of last week, oil prices recovered in the global markets to reach $40 a barrel after the OPEC alliance agreement entered into force, which requires a historic reduction of 9.7 million barrels per day, due to the sharp decline in oil prices. The government advisor continues that, in my personal assessment, the rate of calculating the price of a barrel of oil in the federal budget law for the current year will be between $30 and $35, expecting that, the total budget size will be between 80 to 100 trillion dinars. In turn, Ahmed Al-Safar, the rapporteur of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, affirms that, the general budget law for the current fiscal year is supposed to be legislated by the government in Parliament noting that his committee needs about a month to complete the project review. And the Finance Committee in the House of Representatives told Almada last May that the emergency cell for financial reform formed by Prime Minister Mustafa Akazemi began preparing the federal budget law for the current year, expecting the project's draft to reach Parliament after the Eid holiday. Al Safar explains in a statement to Al Mata that, not to legislate the budget law in the current period will lose its value, given that the government works for a full year without a budget. He adds that, the budget will focus on the operational side without investing because the remaining period is few and insufficient to implement investment projects that will be carried over to the budget of the year 2021, noting that it will include salaries for the ration card, medicines, security aspect and urgent and necessary matters. Almada was reported on the 13th of last month, deputies in the Parliamentary Finance Committee said that the new government tends to provide a free interim budget for the first time in the history of Iraq from the investment budget and will be limited to operating only to be able to secure salaries for the next six months. Al Safar asserts that, the government started drafting the federal budget law in order to send it to Parliament in the specified periods. Next article. Parliamentary law reveals the most prominent laws that will be legislated in Parliament. The Parliamentary Legal Committee revealed the most important laws that will be discussed and passed by the Parliament in the coming days. Member of the committee, MP Hussein Al Okabi said in a statement to the Iraqi news agency, Ina. Today, Saturday, 
the House of Representatives will discuss the laws referred during the coming days that relate to tackling the economic and financial crisis and getting out of it, as well as the laws that relate to filling the federal revenue deficit. The second law that will be passed is the Federal Budget Bill of 2020. He added that the third stage of passing laws will include the federal court law, noting that the retirement law is contained within the House of Representatives and can be read, in addition to the election law and the distribution of electoral districts. Last Wednesday, the House of Representatives finished the first reading of the draft domestic and foreign borrowing bill to finance the fiscal deficit for 2020. The Council also voted on a resolution that obliges the Iraqi government to send the 2020 budget law this month. Next article. Christopher Jane Carlo. Digital dollar technology is coming, fast and furious. Can U.S. seize the CBDC momentum? Money is part of a nation's financial infrastructure, and the dollar needs a digital upgrade for this changing world, says Jane Carlo former CFDC chair who now heads the Digital Dollar Project, in an exclusive interview with Forecast.News. Technological change is coming fast to the world of finance following the coronavirus crisis, and U.S. policymakers need to prepare for the future with a digital dollar, according to Christopher Jane Carlo, head of the Digital Dollar Foundation, which released a white paper yesterday that lays out a vision and path for an American central bank digital currency. CBDC. Out of the coronavirus crisis, you're going to see a huge boost of energy for the digitization of a lot of our financial market infrastructure. It's coming fast and furious. Let's grab hold of it and harness it to address these shortcomings and prepare us for the future, said Jane Carlo in a video interview with Forecast.NEWS editor in chief Angie Lau. As China and other countries race to put out the world's first central bank digital currency, the U.S. dollar has a lot to lose, including its global influence and the spread of American democratic values. If it does not develop its own digital dollar, said Jane Carlo, the former chairman of the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The United States needs to be involved now if we have an expectation that our values will be built into future money, Jane Carlo said. Now's the time to get into the debate over the future of money and make sure those values, not just privacy, but values of free enterprise, of free speech, of democracy are built into the future of money. The monetary system is national infrastructure, just as so much of our physical infrastructure in the West, our bridges and our airports and our mass transportation systems that were one state of the art have been allowed to age and decay and not be updated. The same is true about a lot of our financial market infrastructure. The so-called CBDC race between countries. I would push back against the characterization of this as a race. In fact, I think it would be a mistake for the United States, which has everything to lose because it is the world's predominant, if not only reserve currency, has everything to lose by going too fast and getting this wrong. Digital dollar in American values. The winner of a CBDC race is, the society and the economy that successfully brings their values to bear on the future of money. And the United States, we traditionally brought notions of a zone of privacy in one's transactions, free of state surveillance, of the rule of law, notions of free enterprise. If the United States brings those values to bear in the future of digital money, the United States is a winner. If it does not, and other values are brought to bear and the United States is not active in countering that, then the United States is a loser. CBDCs and the unbanked. When you start now going into the 25% of the U.S. society that are underbanked, that have limited or no access to bank facilities, a digital dollar could be the basis for them actually being able to make daily payments in daily life, or having to go pay 6 to 8% through a check cashing center to cash a check so it could provide real value there. Where American allies stand on the digital dollar, it's interesting, a lot of our overseas allies and economic cooperation, partners want to see the United States involved in this game because it's critically important that a US CBDC be interoperable with the Euro CBDC or with a pound sterling CBDC. So if the United States comes late to the game, it's a disrupting influence. 
They want us involved in the game now. If the dollar stays the same, in London in the 1920s most Britons said, pound sterling is the currency of the world, what's ever going to change? Well, it changed a lot in the late part of the 20th century. The same could happen to the dollar. Many of the world's key units of value are themselves measured in the US dollar, Giancarlo said. And as those units of value go through a process of becoming decentralized, tokenized and programmable, how long can the dollar remain a global reserve currency if it can't interact with these digital things in a digital format? Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Don't forget to save the link to my channel on the library platform and check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.